Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, gorgeous day here in paradise. In uh, where am I on this gorgeous Monday morning, September 11th, 2017, September 11th. I will not even bother with my usual broken record 9-11 rant today. Uh, but what I do want to do is dive into my comment of the day, which is more like my, uh, good Lord, more like my essay of the day uh, from our old Alert Tribes member, Harley Canine. But before I look, check in with Harley, I just want to send out a huge thank you to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people who responded to my plea for to look into their hearts and wallets to fund um, Humpty Dumpty Tribe, to donate to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. And I want to send out huge thank yous to one of our brand new tribes members, Sister Sal. Thank you, Sister Sal. Thank you, Sister Teresa, for your magnanimous gift to my Bah Humbug anti-Christmas tree Go f job GoFundMe account. Brother Tim, good Lord, thank you, Brother Tim, over and over again. Not just for the donation, but for all you have done. And to your lovely wife, Sister Margaret. I want to thank you, Sister Margaret. Who else do we have? Uh, I guess this is Sister Nona. Nona, I do appreciate your donation. You too. Sister Christina, thank you very much, darling. Brother Richard, thank you for supporting Humpty Dumpty Tribe and... Uh, Thank you, Brother Michael Daniel from Austin, Texas. <laughs> no further comment. Thank you, Brother, for keeping Humpty Dumpty Tribe on the air. So now, with that pleasant task out of the way, and again, guys, anything you can find in your hearts and wallets to send to Humpty Dumpty Tribe is greatly appreciated. But that pleasant task out of the way, I'm going to dive in with perhaps the longest comment of the day I have ever heard. I'm going to read this entire comment from Alert Tribes member Harley K9. What was he even responding to? Which rant of mine? A depressed eco-Nazi inventories some no-shit Sherlock points about the state of the planet. I think I had 83 comments on this rant, but none uh, compared to Harley K9. Take it away, Harley, and let us know what is on your mind. Say it like you mean it, brother. Quote, I say it all the time. I do not take you, and by that I mean anyone, seriously for one second. When you talk about worrying about the planet, if the first concern you have is not getting rid of about 3 billion, at least, people off of the planet, well, Harley, I would say 7 billion, not 3 billion, but anyway, this is your rant, not mine. If you don't think the very first and most important thing we need to do is to drastically decrease the human overgrowth on this planet, you don't actually give a shit about it. I assume he means the planet. If that is the case, you're just like every other clueless moron out there, and you care more about humans than anything else, and more importantly, you don't even begin to understand the root of the situation that we are in. Every time a storm goes through somewhere, I look to see the death toll. The higher, the better. Score one for the planet. 
We need to stop dragging out the life of every single dying person out there. Dr. Kevorkian was a great man in that regard. There is no point in spending tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars to keep someone who lo alive who wants to die, especially when there's zero chance they're going to beat what's killing them in the first place. And that's just the beginning of what we need to do. I think AIDS was the first big attempt of the planet to start shedding itself of most of us, and that did include my own brother, uh, Harley. Too mad, I think he meant to say too bad, we're smart enough to figure out how to basically make it a non-issue. People can get AIDS now and basically live a full life if they load themselves up on medication for the rest of their lives. We need to start giving incentives for people of breeding age to volunteer to get sterilized. Hallelujah, amen, Brother Harley. Especially if their IQ is under 130 or maybe even 120. Pay them massive amounts of money. Who cares? It's still going to be cheaper in the long run. And it's better than what China did. At least that way you're still giving them the choice. But my God, quit fucking making babies. We are gaining a fucking million new planet eaters every five fucking days now. I think it's every four days. Uh, and most of them are dumber than the next guy. What this realization of what is happening to us has taught me and made me realize is just how dumb the average person is. George Carlin always said, want to understand how dumb people are? Think of the dumbest person you know and realize that half the people are dumber than that. What this has taught me is that I am the smartest person outside of my wife that I know, and I'm smarter than her in ways. She's smarter than me and others. I wouldn't have married her if she wasn't smart, as in actually smart. But I work with very smart people, doctors, nurses, executives, etc. I work with really, really smart people, and I'm the smartest person I know because most of those really, really smart people are clueless fucking morons, as you say. In case you haven't figured it out yet, I basically hate people. Besides a few persons that I consider friends and who are not clueless morons, I hate people. I have compassion, sure. I don't wish harm directly on anyone, and I would help someone out if I came across someone who needed it, but it does not make me sad when some natural disaster wipes a bunch of dumb motherfuckers off the planet either. I didn't feel this way before. I did not feel this way before my enlightenment. People have always annoyed me to some extent, but I chalk that mainly up to having grown up in such a small town and being so isolated. I have always hated crowds, but it has manifested into hating most people. And it is mainly because I can see now just how dumb the average Joe is, and it's different than before in many other ways, too. People walk around now with their faces buried in their phones, with tunnel vision and ears closed to the world. Everywhere you look, people are staring at their hands. God forbid they engage in any kind of intelligent conversation with anyone around them, and no one retains any information, and no one knows anything about anything, and they think they are smart. 
I look around and most people consider themselves pretty smart. Fucking A, are you kidding me? I look around and all I see are dumb people, and I'm mad at myself for having been one of those dumb people myself for so many years. Although I was never quite as dumb as most people are these days, there's literally not many things that I could not do from saving a life to rebuilding an engine, from building a house to growing food. There's not much I haven't done or could not figure out out. For most people now, forget about it. For fuck's sake, most young people now go out with their friends and text them from across the fucking table, and it's always about absolutely nothing and stupid nothing at that. Technology was supposed to make us better. It has just made us dumber. Young people coming into the workplace now, forget about it. We are fucked. I can't believe that these dumb motherfuckers, I can't believe what these dumb motherfuckers think happens in the real world. It's absolutely unbelievable. I'm actually glad we're on our way out this way because if we weren't in this situation, the younger generation coming up would surely do us in. They have absolutely no idea how things really work and they sure as fuck could not even run a country and the planet into the ground as efficiently as our predecessors. Even if it wasn't for climate change, we would probably all starve because we would not actually have anything to eat because if a computer cannot make it, they have no idea what to do. <laughs> oh, there, there you go. Uh, um, brother Harley Canine. Harley Canine, and I see he has three thumbs up to that comment uh, of the day and of the week and of the year. Good Lord. Uh, amen. Brother Harley, uh, as I say, uh, I would like to see about 7 billion people uh, just, just die nice, natural, peaceful deaths in their sleep uh, and bring the population of this planet down to the world, to the Georgia Guidestones recommendation of a world population of 500 million or less through a program, if not voluntary sterilization, which is the, the, the place to start. If that doesn't work, then involuntary sterilization. But this is not my rant. It is Harley's. So I'm going to wrap up this rant because it looks like they're starting to load this boat. And I need now to go from Harley K9. We're going to go over to Zombie Island to check out uh, what is on the mind of Brother Andy. Brother Andy has a lot on his mind this week and we're gonna we're gonna share some of the wisdom from Zombie Island but it's gonna have to be later on because they're saying uh, it's time to get on the boat with all these gas sucking cars. Are you ready to get on the boat, little dog? <clears throat> Good Lord. They say they can fit 220 cars on this one boat. Off we go into paradise to Seattle, Washington is where we are headed but for five minutes and then we're heading back to North Bumblefuck, Washington, to the world's most beautiful campsite, now that the smoke has cleared, to resume the Bigfoot hunt. Bye, guys.